Hello, my juicy peaches. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Priestess Peaches, aka Jackie Lane from yourpeachylife.com. Filming a few videos, story time videos today to put out over the next week or so, um, or longer, <laughs> maybe longer than that, depending how many I film. Um, and today I am going to be sharing with you about, um, how do I say this? I haven't decided the title of this video yet, but basically about past memories coming up before sexual sessions with my man and then trauma releases during sex with my partner and how this has all come about. I just want to share with you a specific experience that I have had. So when I was a... I, when I was younger, as you probably know if you've watched my videos, I used to take drugs every day. I used to drink pretty much every day. I was a stripper for six years. I was in a toxic, wounded sexual relationship with a man. I had a toxic, wounded relationship with the masculine in general. I was very promiscuous. Even though, yes, I was in a relationship, it was an open thing, but not an empowered open thing, <laughs> not conscious. Um, and I lived a life of hedonism and debauchery for a very long time. Um, I had very low self-worth and I wanted to escape reality all the time. I couldn't cope with my emotions. I didn't know how to manage my emotions. I was a hot mess when I was younger, truly. And I have a lot of memories, like traumatic memories. At the time, it wasn't traumatic for me. At the time, I was fooling myself into thinking that I'm this outrageous, sexy, uh, empowered woman and I'm just exploring and experimenting and you know and I was I was that and I was also coming from a space of seeking validation all I ever wanted was to be loved <laughs> to be to feel respected like I went about things in a very imbalanced way that was very damaging to me and um, I'm not saying all of it was horrible or anything. Like I had a really good time too. I'm not gonna lie, like, I met some amazing people. I had some amazing experiences, but some of it was very dark and very twisted, okay? And so I wanna share with you something that has, uh, something that has happened a few times for me, but I will share a specific experience. Basically, Rory and I, Something that I teach ambitious women in long-term relationships is um, to implement a sexual play schedule with their partners. And I know a lot of people might think that, oh, but then it's planned, like it should be spontaneous and yada, yada, yada. But in my experience working with busy business women who are in long-term relationships, it really, really does benefit them to have a sexual play schedule. And to actually schedule in that time, it just takes away like any confusion. It it means that it will happen. It means that they will have that time to connect because it's scheduled in. They've prioritized it. OK, and so Rory and I also schedule in time for sexual play. And so I know in advance say for instance, on Saturday, we are going to be sexual, we're going to be intimate, we're going to connect, we're going to practice Tantra or whatever. And sometimes we might plan even like what practices we, we might do. Sometimes not, sometimes we're spontaneous and you know, there's room for both, okay? Like it's never this or that, it can be this and that. So anyway, there's this one time, <laughs> Um, this has happened a few times, but one time in particular that before our sexual session, like the day before, I started having memories of a certain experience 
back in the day, like this person, this experience would pop in my head. And like I said, this has happened a few times, but, and I would feel shame come up, sexual shame. I would feel, I would experience the feelings of what I felt at the time as well, which was regret, shame, uh, a feeling of being used, a feeling of what did I do, what just happened, um, like I would get myself into situations that were not good and then afterwards I would feel awful about it and so this certain person would pop in my head, not always this person but this time this certain person popped in my head, this certain experience, I'm just using it as an example and and I was like, <laughs> and even when this happens, like now, sometimes I can be dismissive of that or sometimes I can be like, I just sort of suppress it as it comes up because it's the natural tendency because for years I would have suppressed it or I would have not thought about it or I would have uh, not allowed myself to think about it. I would have just bury that down, bottle that down. Don't want to think about that again. Ew, no, no thank you. Um, and so when something like that would come up, my instant or my habitual response to that would be to dismiss it, to not, to try to not acknowledge it, to suppress it. <laughs> but it's gonna come up, right? Because I'm about to have this sexual time with Rory. And something I teach about is sexual healing and sex, sex magic. And your sexual space, with your partner is actually a vessel for growth. This is something that Kim Anami says. I think that's how you say her name. That your sexual relationship space is a vessel for growth. And I like to call it the sexual sanctuary because you can bring things to that space for healing. You can bring things into that space because sexual energy is so healing and so transformative and it can transmute things and also on a physical level where you as a woman and as a man but you store your emotions and memories and feelings in your body and in your yoni is stored trauma is stored within your yoni like whether you're aware of it or not it is and even in day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day stresses um, and things that come up, traumatic things that happen in your life all the time, these things are being stored in your body, like it gets stored in your body. And if you don't know how to heal that or release that or integrate it, um, then it can cause issues for you. And so it was really interesting because this thing came up, this person came up, this memory came up and I felt all the feelings and I was like, oh, block that back down and just get on with my day. And then the next day, Rory and I were to have our sexual session. And whilst we were being intimate and um, during sexual play, I started to experience a kind of, or like it felt like orgasmic energy. It felt like a kind of orgasm, but it sort of wasn't. It was really weird feeling. It was like, it was sexual energy moving in me and it was orgasmic energy and it was almost like an orgasm but then I was just shaking and I've mentioned before in my in one of my other videos how trauma can come out as shaking so if you think of an animal when they're and it, I just laugh because I just it's funny comparing us to like other animals but yeah if you think of an animal when a deer for instance is hit by a car if they're okay they will shake that trauma out of them for a while and then get up and go because they that is the trauma release where you you can shake it out of you and this naturally happens when when i release trauma sexual trauma and this came up and it was like strange because it was kind of like there was some pleasure there but it was also so intense and i just started crying and yeah in the mainstream media there's a lot of um, shame and embarrassment 
around crying during sex and or crying after sex but crying is a cycle completion like if you allow yourself to cry and release that emotion you're releasing trauma you're you're it's like a completion of that cycle that trauma cycle if you stop yourself from crying when you want to cry if you suppress that it's really not good for you just so you know um and so i always allow myself to cry if i need to cry and i'm a very emotional person and i'm quite a dramatic person as well so I was shaking and shaking and shaking and I was sobbing and sobbing and sobbing and it was this epic trauma release. And this has happened many times where a memory will surface before a se sexual, even like self sexual session, um, and self pleasure session, this can happen. And then I release the trauma during the sexual play, even if I've suppressed it or not acknowledged it. And then after that happened, it was like intuitively I knew what it was about. I had that knowing and I connected the dots as well because obviously that had come up the day before and I was like, oh yeah, like that's obviously what it was. It was releasing that experience. And now when I think about that experience, I'm not, I don't feel the same way I did and my body doesn't re react in the same way. Like I have a sense of integration around it um sometimes that there can be many trauma releases for the same memory it depends doesn't it and also it may not be the end of that trauma release for that memory like something might come up down the line like years down the line and that's just the healing journey it you don't just heal and then you're done like that's not how it works and don't let that dishearten you or scare you let that empower you because it's each time you, I guess, oh, I don't like the term like peeling the layers of the onion, <laughs> but each time you do, each time you peel a layer of the onion, <laughs> it's like new, new, le new levels of bliss and pleasure will emerge for you. New sexual experiences, new pleasure pathways and openness, like, where there was pain or numbness or discomfort will be pleasure, will be bliss, will be just desire coming through. That's what wants to emerge. That's what's naturally there. It's like how during the daytime, the sun is in the sky and the sky is always blue, but sometimes we have clouds clouding it. And once you Move, remove the clouds the sun is shining under there and that's the same in your yoni like each time you allow yourself to have a experience like that a healing experience if you just give yourself permission to feel what the feck you feel what you really feel express that don't be shy don't be afraid and one of the things that Rory and I learned when we did our Tantra training course, Tantric Massage for Couples training course, was um, for like him to just say to me, let it out, let it out. Don't try to comfort me. Don't try to stop me crying. Don't try to um, stop that process because then you block and suppress the trauma release and the completion of that cycle. So he's like, let it out, let it out, feel what you need to feel, let it out. And so I will let it out and it will all come out. And it that is like true intimacy with your partner. And he is part of my healing. My body then opens to him. And then we can experience something truly divine together. And so, yeah, that's my, that's one of my sexual healing, part of my sexual healing journey has been when memories come up. Um, traumatic memories that surface and sometimes these memories aren't even necessarily kind of cognitive memories where I have a like full-on full-blown memory in my mind sometimes I will remember a snippet of something and my body remembers the rest my body feels how I felt like that is kind of PTSD right um, and yeah the thing is for women is that even something that didn't 
like, well, for me, okay, not for women, for me, even something that didn't feel traumatic at the time, like, because of who I am now, when I remember it, it can traumatize me now because I would never do that now. And I would, like, I have, I, I feel certain things about who I used to be. Like, I, you know, I, I just want to hold that version of me and tell her it's all going to be okay. And like, when a memory comes up that even when I didn't feel anything at the time, um, because I wasn't conscious and aware at the time, I have compassion for that, but it does traumatize me now sometimes. And I have to work through that. I have to work through how I feel about who I was then and what I did then. And remembering those experiences brings them back into my body. And I can just be present with that and allow myself to explore that. Um, or if I don't, it will come up for healing in the sexual space. It always does. And because I, my body and my being and my mind knows that I allow that to happen, I don't feel a sense of resistance around that when it does come up with, with Rory, because I don't feel like sex has to look a certain way. And it's not all the time and it has become less and less. There was a good couple of years where I was in a lot of PTSD and experiencing a lot of pain in my yoni. And it was so hard for us because it was like, there was just pain all the time. And yeah, there was just trauma release, trauma release, PTSD. I went into like deep depression. I would have panic attacks during the night, all kinds of things. And I stayed devoted to pleasure. I stayed devoted to sexual empowerment and I knew that it was part of the process and I'm not saying that your journey has to be like that like some people you can heal without going through it again right and I'm but I'm saying if you do if that does come up for you like it has done with me like don't wrong yourself for that it's not a bad thing don't be afraid of it just allow it to emerge because what is behind that is the sun <laughs> shining and you will find your pleasure and pleasure will find you. So that is my sexual healing journey around past memories, um, PTSD and trauma releases during sexual play with my partner. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching this if you're still here. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, like I said in my other video, the reason I'm doing this is just to open up this discussion more for women to, to not feel like they're broken or to know that, that it's okay and it's like to not wrong themselves and to not, I wanna open up what's possible for our healing and integration and sexual empowerment and just share about some of my experiences. Um, there, there's part of me that's afraid to do that because I don't want anyone to assume that they're gonna experience that too. Everyone's journey is unique. And I don't like to kind of say it all because my, it's like this for me, it's gonna be like that for you, but maybe it is, maybe you are experiencing that and you're wondering like, how can I deal with that? Like, um, and I just wanna say, like, I just wanna say, express these videos to let you know that you're not alone and like just open this conversation for us to have so yeah i hope that this was useful and i will see you in my next video have an amazing day and remember to keep it juicy love you lots bye